this is Sharon Elizabeth Sexton, and I am on my way to Ford Field right here in the city of Detroit for the finals because Michigan State, the mighty Spartans, has made it to the finals in the game. So you can't enjoy a game like this without other Spartans because nobody else understands. In fact, I see some other folks coming out, so I'm going to be on my way at least into downtown. I don't have any tickets for the game, but come on, let's go with me. Giddy is perhaps the best way to describe the people in Detroit, both residents and visitors, over the NCAA Final Four weekend that took place for the first time in the Motor City, April 2nd through the 5th, 2009. And when Michigan State University, my alma mater, only 90 miles up I-96, won a seat at the Final Four, Detroit went into party mode. Then the nearly impossible happened. MSU made it to the NCAA championship match with the Tar Heels of North Carolina. By Monday, April 6th, game day, Detroit was a sea of green and white, rooting for the MSU Spartans, with a smidgen of powder blue representing North Carolina. North Carolina! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, North Carolina, baby! Michigan All State! Day. Michigan State by three! North Carolina! State by three! By three. North Carolina. State by three! Although the weather was unusually bitterly cold for April, the fever pitch around Ford Field was hot! A little nervous about it, but I think we're gonna pull it off, so I'll be alright. Go State! Go Green! Go Green! MSU students, alumni, and fans poured into Detroit for the final game, boosting the city's tourist revenues during a time of economic depression. Nearly 73,000 tickets were sold, shattering previous NCAA championship basketball ticket sales. But even for those of us who didn't have tickets, the entertainment on the streets was priceless and informational. AT&T workers used the occasion to stage a protest. Others wanted to spread the word of God. And then there was the superhero. Finally, it was time to really party. Well, it's an excitement. good-hearted camaraderie between opposing fans, a fashion show, dancing, and talking smack. So how you doing? About to go down. This is the Unfortunately for MSU fans, the North Carolina Tar Heels took the lead of the game early and never looked back. Like the snowflakes twirling in the wind outside, the Spartans sputtered. By halftime, there was no hope for the home team. But there is always next year. We feel like Michigan State. Green, green. 